What is going on my individuals? How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Today I have 11 hairstyles, 11 of the best hairstyles for receding or high hairlines. Now if you're a guy like me, you probably have one of those bad boys. A nice jacked up, good old super duper high hairline. Yeah. And it may seem like everything's just kind of going against you. However, um, I got a few tricks up my sleeve to uh, help you guys out and uh, help you find some really cool hairstyles. Now for me growing up, I would never slick my hair back like I'm doing now just because I used to, you know, I used to be so insecure about it. Now I'm just like, what the hell, who cares? <laughs> a lot of people have asked me if I'm losing my hair or if I'm receding, but honestly, this hairstyle, this I mean, this hairline runs in the family and I've had it since I was about 13 years old. It's never gotten any worse, never gotten any better. So I've just learned how to kind of just live with it and uh, oh well, you know, I am blessed with what I have, you know? All right, so let's jump right into this. I got all these hairstyles on my phone right here. So the first one, we have the off-centered comb over. And uh, right here you can actually see this is Bradley Cooper. For anyone looking for a nice hairstyle, this is definitely your go-to. As you can see, Bradley Cooper has a pretty high hairline, however he hides it really well. All you do is simply create an off-centered part and make sure each side covers your temples. Next up, which is one of my personal favorites, we got the bald fade that blends in to the top. If you have a high hairline like me, or if you're just slightly receding, that bald fade on the sides can definitely distract people from seeing that. And you can actually apply some clay on the top of your hair, style it forward, and uh, kind of hide that up on the sides. And before I move on to number three, I do want to mention that down in the description, I have a huge discount code for you guys to use at Shavu.com. For any of you guys that want to purchase some premium, high-quality hair products, we honestly take pride in creating products with top-notch ingredients that maintain the overall health of your hair. By the way, I do appreciate everyone who has supported my products. We recently, last month, we went out of stock on our ocean clay, and uh, we're coming back in stock very, very shortly, so just stay tuned for that. All right, number three. This one is super dope. This is the French crop cut. It's very modern, uh, so if you want to rock something up to date uh, as far as latest trends go, this is something that you're going to want to show to your barber. And honestly, it's one of the best hairstyles for hiding your hairline. Which leads me into number four, and that is the messy crop. Which my boy, dude, my boy Thomas Shelby from Peaky Blinders, he rocks this. It's very similar to the French crop cut. However, this one's just a little bit more casual looking, just a little bit more messy. You would never even know that his hairline is actually pretty high in real life. So as you can see, the cut that he rocks in Peaky Blinders really hides his hairline and gets the job done perfectly. Number five, the shaggy long hairstyle. Now this is a look that I actually really, really like and if you can rock it, go for it. As long as you aren't receding too badly, um, it hides your temples pretty well as you can see. I would however add in some product, maybe some sea salt spray uh, before blow drying. You can actually probably add in some clay after because if you don't do this, you might be able to see right straight through your hair, kind of like this guy. But if you add in product, it's going to thicken up your hair, add some texture, add some you know body. And on a side note, never. Never rock a man bun if you're receding. As you can see, it emphasizes everything. Not only does it show everything, but you're actually pulling the hair and the scalp back, so it actually makes your hairline even go back even further. So yeah, try to stay away from that. Number six, now if you're starting to recede very, very badly, just try to go short. As you can see here, this is a handsome dude, but if this dude was to slick his hair back, it probably wouldn't benefit his looks whatsoever. I know you can't see it too much, but this dude right here, his hairline is receding like crazy, believe it or not. So this is a great, great recommendation. It's got chill vibes and it just looks good. All you would have to do is uh, apply some clay to your hair to create some texture and slightly, you know, move your hair into position over those temples where you are receding. And honestly, you guys, you have to have shorter hair for this because if you have that hair covering your temples, and your hair starts to get really long, it's not gonna stay there anymore because the weight of the hair is gonna start making the hair kind of move around and if wind hits it, your, your hair's gonna come off of your temples and it's just gonna show everything. Number seven, for my dudes with massive receding hair and you practically have a cul-de-sac going on, um, I honestly would suggest just going, just going bald, man, just cleaning it all up. Honestly, if you start trying to hide it with a comb over or something, as you can see, it's just, it's not gonna look very good. It's gonna seem like you're trying too hard. And honestly, I'm not trying to be mean, but I've never heard a woman saying that she likes a cul-de-sac for a dude's hairstyle. Just saying, bro. Guys like Bruce Willis, The Rock, 
I mean, these are these are some good looking dudes. If, if they had a cul-de-sac on their head, it, it wouldn't benefit them in any way. So you can still shave, so, <laughs> shave, yeah, you can shave. You can save your handsomeness as long as you keep everything clean, shaving it all up. It honestly looks good and it makes you look nice and clean and well kept, especially if you're an older man. Number eight, we have the medium length middle part. Now, I'm not saying this. Definitely not saying that. I'm saying this. If you're gonna go for a middle part, it's a great solution because it's gonna hide those corners where your hair is receding at. And honestly, it genuinely looks nice. So I would suggest if you wanna have a look like this, keep it blow dried, add in some clay, and keep the sides nice and cleaned up. Keep it short, you know, for that modern day look rather than the 90s look like I just showed you right before. Number nine, we have the messy fringe. Uh, this right here is another good one. My opinion only. I would rock this as long as you are a younger dude. Uh, for any guys over like 30 or 35, you're probably not gonna wanna go with this. You're probably gonna wanna say nah, like nah, skip it. <laughs> Honestly, in my opinion, this looks gonna be better for younger dudes. Number 10 is the symmetrical undercut design for short hair. This one is for my dudes that want to really stand out and rock something different and rock something very modern and just for anybody who wants to have like crazy mad style like streetwear style as you can see you're going to want to style your hair forward while making sure the sides are always nice and clean maybe getting a haircut around every two weeks or so and number 11 the last one we're just going to tone it down just a hair bit um, this one's a lot more convenient for most of you and something that's always going to pretty much be in style and that's the short messy comb over so go ahead Blow dry your hair kind of forward uh, and into you know the direction you want your hair to go in. So for me, like I like left, so I'd blow dry it kind of forward to the left and then have those remaining hairs on the side, those stragglers, to kind of cover your temple areas. So I hope this video helps some of you guys out today. Uh, right now it is time for the individual's inner circle shout outs. So right here we have my boy, Faisal. Next up we have Erickson. And last up we have my boy, G, G baby. <laughs> so I uh, hope you guys dug today's video. Now before I head out, it is time for today's motivational message of the day, and that is appreciate the hard moments. How do you take back your life when you feel completely broken? When you feel like you're just fully defeated and you've got nothing left, you've got nothing left to give, how do you get your life back on track? First off, let me mind you that it's okay to fall. It's okay to fail. You know, society tells us that it's not okay. Society teaches us to be perfect all the time and act like we have it all together on our on our Instagrams and our Facebooks, you know? And that's why I think we feel broken sometimes is because we're trying to be fixed, we're trying to get fixed. But when you face failures, honestly, these are those precious moments, man. These are those moments that are full of opportunity. Believe it or not, but these are the moments where you can grow the most and you can you can take your life to the next level and become someone who you never thought you could be. Even though it's hard as hell, appreciate those moments. Appreciate that God sometimes allows you to go through these things. He allows you to not just go through them, but to grow through them because pain can always push you to greatness. So before I leave, for anybody that's dealing with this, remember that your struggle is your setup. Hope you guys dug today's video. If you did, please give it a nice big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and be sure to hit that notifications button to be informed when I drop some new content. And I will see you all very soon. My name is Trey Jexler, Shaka Bra.